Hi friends and welcome to this video where we are going to be talking about clothes specifically so all the mum hacks you can get and I'm going to be sharing more than 13 ideas that you can make your life so much easier. Quickly I'm Alina Ghost and I do daily mum shorts as well as two long form videos a week on YouTube. I go live on TikTok every Monday at 8 o'clock so do join me there as well and basically without further ado let's get into the mum hacks straight away. I'm going to start with the first and the one that I have been using for years since I was a teenager my mum has taught me about this trick I've been doing this to my own wardrobe my husband's wardrobe and my kids wardrobe so what I do is simply get a bar of soap and this could be any bar of soap it could be a cheap one it could be your Cav Kidston soaps for goodness sake you simply make sure that it's out of its plastic coverage and cellophane basically and make sure that you put that in with the wardrobe so whether it's inside the wardrobe whether it's inside the drawers and basically it's with your clothes to keep away moths so I love this tip because I've never had an issue since since I got those little moth holes in some of my clothes. Mum hack number two and that is cleaning away stains. I've recently spoke about this to friends actually but basically when you've got kids stains are inevitable especially when it's muddy weather especially when you live in the UK and it's super rainy but basically what you can do are a number of things so to give you an idea I absolutely love Vanish so Vanish actually has a spray and a soap so you can try out either one and see what works for you if it's the spray you give it a few sprays on the actual stain even if you've got like a white t-shirt for example you leave it there for a few minutes give it a little bit of a scrub as well don't do too much because you don't want to ruin the material but make sure that you add a drop or two of water as well leave that to the side and you'll be surprised how much of that stain is gone if that doesn't work and even if the bar doesn't work which it will by the way <laughs> but basically if the stains still remain my other means of getting rid of stains is just using natural sunlight so if you are blessed with lovely weather and sunshine make sure to do your washing outside and if you put it out on the washing line in direct sunlight it bleaches it so I definitely recommend that. Mum hack number three is wearing bright colours when you are going somewhere. I've been doing this when my son goes to soft play, but actually I know YouTubers like Emily Norris, for example, who uses bright colours on her kids for like swimwear and when they go on holiday. Either way, it's a great way to identify your child when they're very far away because you can see them straight away because they're wearing a bright colour. And you don't only have to choose a bright colour, you can choose a pattern as well. I know that when my son wears a stripy top, he's also super easy to be found. So that's a really good tip for safety reasons, especially when you're out and about in soft play when they're running around like crazy or on vacation. Another mum hack is separate your kids' clothes depending on what they're doing so for example have mucky clothes that they can paint in that they can get dirty so playtime clothes basically and have clothes that they are there to basically look presentable with whether you're going out not to the playground make sure you've got playground clothes as well but for example we've got uniform in the UK and although they do get that mucky and everything it's an idea to have a uniform for everything that you do so let's say keep it easy have two things so have one where they can get mucky and have those that they can basically look better in so I would recommend that's a really great way to basically save your money as well because they're gonna rip it they're going to stain it so if you're always using the mucky clothes for like playtime and getting dirty and everything then you don't have to worry about clothes that are having to look nice because you've always got some set aside that they can't ruin and actually this works the same for shoes you wouldn't believe how many shoes we go through and how many puddles we go through even though we tell him not to <laughs> so basically I've given up recently he's having so much fun in the puddles and the mud and it's basically about having shoes that are specifically for going out and getting muddy and dirty and then having nice shoes to make sure that we can go to the museums with them into London you know have fun and look presentable another mum hack and this one comes from reading loads of mum mummy bloggers from following loads of like mum accounts on TikTok and things like that and basically 
one thing that comes up time and time again and that is about having identical colored socks so for example something that i'm trialing out now is phasing out colorful socks so that it's super easy to identify to pair them together and what i've decided is to have white socks and black socks only to help me along with this but with the exception of christmas because i do think christmas socks are fun but I'm trialing this out to make my life a lot easier so that I don't have to go fishing for the different or like the same colored socks that he doesn't always wear mismatched socks and things like that. So that's definitely a tip that I've taken on board from other mums and I definitely think that it's working so far. A mum hack around clothes and saving money is try and make do with the clothes that you have. So for example, if your kid rips a top, then try and sew it up. If not, try and have a buy one of those iron on like things, you know, like patches that you can add onto a clothing piece. Because basically if you iron that on, you can't see the hole. It looks a lot more fun. And basically it saves you money at the end of the day because there's gonna be a lot of rips and there's going to be a lot of stain. It's a really great way to actually uh, upcycle or like use those hand-me-downs if you've got older kids and then going back to my previous point and that is about using that item for playtime and for mucky play so it doesn't have to be those clothes that you are wearing when you're going out to like dinner for example it could be clothes that you can use for like painting for going outside and getting muddy so definitely think about that and saving you a buck or two in the meantime so this mum hack i'm just terrible for folding clothes on and i absolutely despise hangers don't get me started yes I do use hangers but I very much get angry at them when they don't do what I ask them to do so basically I don't use hangers for my son's clothes <laughs> what I do is simply just like put them away I don't even fold them up I just put them in the drawer and my life is so much easier that way and I definitely recommend people's lives get easier that way too so I recommend not bothering with folding just go ahead, put that into the drawer, and it's all fine. To caveat that though, I do recommend separators. So I personally enjoy like having a caddy inside or separators within the drawers, but I do find it easy where it's just like, bof, you just put that clothes in and it looks fine. A hack that I probably use for organization across my items in the household in general and not just clothes, and that is just buy what you need so maybe it's a minimalist way of looking at it I'm not I'm far from being a minimalist but I do find that you only need a certain amount of items before it just overwhelms you so buy enough don't overbuy. it will save you money at the end of the day but it also prevents it from going OTT so too crazy you won't have enough space for it it'll look disorganized but if you've got enough it will be organized it will look fine and you'll have enough to play with to go out with and basically it's just a recommendation not just for minimalists but to keep your organization at bay as well because it's so much easier to look after these things if it doesn't overwhelm you when it comes to birthdays and Christmases or other events that you might be celebrating throughout the year, I would just very much recommend that when it comes to kids' clothes, to ask your family and friends for practical items, for practical clothes that they could be using throughout the year. That way it saves you money, it's something that's useful and you would use time and time again. And it's not something that you will just like wear once and then give away, you know. So I very much recommend just like keeping that communication open with family and friends and just saying please can we just have something practical like this another mum hack that is completely new to me and the source of this is tiktok so liana branco i'll make sure to link down below but basically i love this hack and that's about using your kids clothes to pack the clothes so when we're going on holiday next this is something i'm definitely going to be trying but it's basically organizing your kids clothes creating like a little pack for like an outfit that they can use straight away i love that idea when it comes to this mum hack this is more about organization and planning and this really helps me throughout the whole year because if i am ahead of the game 
I'm organized, I'm planned, I know exactly what season is coming up and what kind of clothes my kid needs for that season, what age range he might need and what we're missing and basically I can therefore cater to it so I can I can buy more in the right items. So for example, I recently did a wardrobe swap from our winter clothes to our spring clothes and therefore I was able to understand that actually my son needs more four-year-old age range trousers joggers or chinos or something like that because he's got like everything else and he's got about gazillion t-shirts but basically because I'm organized spring is basically on our doorstep I am able to be prepared for the nice weather coming up when your kids are really small I love using this mum hack so much I used it when my son was very small and I used this organizer specifically on multiple things but when it comes to kids clothes I loved putting his little newborn outfits in each pocket of this organizer I absolutely loved putting together like the little t-shirt and the shorts together or the trousers and then the onesies as well with the little socks and everything that he might need from a hat as well to um, like a little dummy to in each pocket but basically I absolutely loved this mum hack so if you are very much in the early stages of motherhood um, with very young children this is a really super duper very cute mum hack last but not least something that I'm going to try next time we are on holiday and that is everybody having their own netted bag because they can use that as like a washing bag no a washing basket rather where they can put like all of their dirty clothes in this netted bag and then instead of like sorting out each individual person's suitcases when we get back home what I can do is literally just take those netted bags shove them straight in the washing machine and then they get cleaned so that was 13 mum hacks but I'm going to give you a bonus mum hack as well and that is create your own wardrobe sachets they're super easy to make you can make them with off cuts with items like your clothes that have ripped for example just sew them all together you put inside a bit of lavender or rose that smells really nice you can find it at the park you can just ask for someone for donation like nanny and granddad who might have some lavender in their garden but basically you put that in it smells nice you do a little loop as well and basically you can put that on your wardrobe to keep your wardrobe smelling nice if you need to know how you want to make this I actually did a blog post about 10 years ago about how you can DIY your own wardrobe sachets I will dig out the um, the video for you guys because I think I did a video for this and I'll link that down below so I hope that you guys enjoy these mum hacks especially for clothes I hope that this makes your life so much easier let me know which one is your favorite down below and if you've got any more to add to the list I'd love to know thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you guys next time bye